Hey guys, so this week I've decided to collect all, mob, all the mob heads, or at least as many as I can get. Mobs drop their heads, and we have a data pack that makes so all the mob drop their heads. Some are higher rates, some are low rates, some are near impossible. But yeah, we're going to go through what I have and what I've collected this week. So we'll start with the lay head. This one is super adorable. I just found a couple at a pill drop post, and yeah, I, uh, I killed one of them. I killed two of them. I think I killed three of them, actually. They're quite durable, so it takes a lot of hits to kill in the lay for how small they are. Next is Axolotl. I got some footage of me doing stuff with it this week. I spent probably uh, too much time on them. Okay, you guys ready to <laughs> kill some big ones? Everyone look away. Blog Just don't look. Uh, <laughs> Bologna and Bologna are different. Exactly. One's a word and one's not. <laughs> no, um... um Bologna is a variant of Bologna. Bologna is not a real word. It is a real word. It's a sausage. I got two pink heads. You still there? <laughs> yeah, I'm. St he rage quit. No, I'm still. <laughs> he rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, did he die? <laughs> All right, mate. <laughs> But yeah, I've upgraded the breeding chamber since then over here. Uh, just made them look a little bit nicer. Have about four in each one, just quick access. Don't ignore the wall of death. But you notice the blue one's empty. And you notice in that little container, there's no rare blue one. The problem with that, the problem with this little blue axolotl head that I don't have, is I can't read. <laughs> I went on the wiki and it says 1 in 200 chance. 1 in 200. So I'm breeding them and I'm slaughtering them. Look at my stats. Where is it? Axel is over 200 killed. And I'm like, I should have gotten ahead by now. I'm, am I just unlucky? Let me go and double check the wiki. See what it says. It doesn't say 1 in 200. It says 1 in 1200. That's just ridiculous. So we're going to have to set, set up something better. A special breeding chamber with tropical fish. And so we can just go bam, 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 bam and get it done. Next we have is bees. Bees aren't too bad, except for the angry one was kind of hard to do. Uh, buzz, buzz. And uh, let me show you a little bit of that. Ah, ah, bees! Uh-oh, I broke the floor. Let's fix that before I die. Let's see, it's this way. Okay. Oh. Oh, there's are gonna kill me. Oh, I got it! I got it! I got the angry bee head! Luckily, I didn't die. I managed to survive the onslaught of bees. Um, I probably killed too many. We can check that as well. Bees, uh, 45. That's not too bad. That's not like 200 of them. So, let's put this guy back in. I'm still missing Blaze. That one's a very low drop rate. It's like half a percent, so I have to make up a Blaze farm. Camel was pretty good. Uh, I think you have to kill an average three to get one. Cats just has been here and there. I'm still missing the Persian one. Cave Spiders are very low drop rate. Charge Creeper, you have to do the whole like lightning trick to get. Chicken's a low drop rate, but I got lucky there, so no biggie there. Uh, salmon, cow, dolphin, donkey are all easy. Creeper is going to be a little hard. Uh, but the Elder Guardian, I got one of them. Let me show that. And yeah, they're not too much trouble. You just have to get in and kill one quick and take care of it. I got the Dragon Head from raiding and cities as well as one from killing it with Shad and Rogue. Uh, I got Enderman heads. Everyone should have an Enderman at this point, basically. But the Endermite, oh, uh, that was a little bit of work. Uh, they just have a really low drop rate, so it just takes a bit to get them. I got a lot of the pillager heads, Voker and all that, from just doing different raids and stuff, so those are kind of old. 
foxes though uh there's two kinds you have to go to different areas they're a little bit of work especially they run from you there's a whole issue with foxes trusting you and stuff it's weird i i, I don't know what happened but i recorded my my footage is gone so i guess we don't get to see them they're pretty adorable so it's kind of horrible to watch anyways but frogs oh man i love this frog head ribbit ribbit but yeah the frogs are tough because there's three kinds and you have to take them to three different biomes Luckily, you can tadpole them. Let me show you the frogs I have here. And where'd they go? Frogs. Oh, here they are. Never mind. They just jumped in here. Uh, but you can breed them up. They drop the little tadpole things. You can scoop the tadpoles up and take them. So that makes it a little bit easier. But let me kind of show you going and getting them. Because I had to just go to three different areas to get them. And I've been bringing these guys up. And here, here's my thing. I had a big dirt. I'm trying to like collect their frog spawn. You can't collect frog spawn and believe it. You have to get the tadpoles. So I'm going to collect a few more and then I'm going to send these guys on their way. If you know what I mean? And we'll continue on. We'll go get the little frogs in each area and we'll have all their heads because I got to collect all three of their heads. We are somewhere in a mountain, uh, snowy mountain here. Uh, breeding up green frogs. I guess green frogs are all about the cold. So we're doing them. Breed them up. And then we're probably going to do tadpoles here as well. And then we're going to move on to find a hot area for the hot ones. And then we'll have all the frogs. Woo! I've been here for 20 minutes for uh, farming frogs. I just had some more grow up. And I'm like, okay, we got four to go with. Let's kill one. The first one gave me a head. Woo! I got a gas head with Shad when we we're in the nether fighting together. Glow squid, I've killed probably too many of those. I got the screaming goat head last week when we were killing them, but I don't have a regular goat head. It has like a 1% drop rate, so it's kind of low. I don't have guardian yet either because it's a half a percent drop rate. I'm going to have to make a farm for that and just grind that out. Uh, Hoglin I got. I, I would just kill him here and there, so I got some of that. I got all the horses. That took a while because there's so many different variants. I'm not going to show that because I don't want to get canceled. Uh, Iron Golem, I have Iron Golem farm. Llamas though. Oh boy, llamas. They do not like me. Hey look, one of the babies grew up. Come with me, I need to show you something over here. Just come over here. No, it's it's okay. Just come on. Come on. It'll be alright. Oh, come here. No, no. Here, we don't want the others to watch. We don't want the others to watch. Come on. Come on over here. It's okay. Just follow me this way. Follow me this way. I got my looting three sword. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Just come over here. It's okay. Just, just hold still. No, oh, no head. Oh, who's next? But yeah, we got three out of four. We're missing the brown one we got to get still. Not a big deal there. Magma Cube, I think I traded someone for that one. And then Mushrooms. Uh, I had to explore about three different Mushroom Islands to find these guys. And then I spent a whole day just breeding them up. Well guys, I may have bred a few cows. <laughs> so, I looked it up. Uh, it should take about 76 on average to kill. I have 131. And I've only killed 7. So we'll do whatever the number is. Look up C-7. And that's how many. A lot of these are still babies in there. So those might not, you know, count. But that's that's a sacrifice we'll have to make. Oh, I got one easy. 31. 31 minus 7 is 24. It took 24. So I got really lucky. Huh. What you doing in here, buddy? Turns out, I had to look it up. That little brown one came from because lightning strike, it said. If the lightning strike hits a mushroom, it turns into a little brown one. I think we need more brown ones because it's only a 10% chance with a brown one. So we need to place some lightning rods down here somewhere. I'm down to 6 wheat. And I bred a lot. It's a 10% chance. 10.3% chance. Oh, we got it. We got it right here. Okay. Honestly, I got really lucky. While I guess I'm thinking when I was AFK, one of them got hit by lightning or something. 
and then if you just breed them up, it's 50%. If you breed them up themselves, 100%. So that was super lucky. I got a meal from just breeding a horse and a donkey. That one was actually like a 30, 40% chance. And I had to breed my horse like 10 times to get mules and I had to kill like 10 mules to get one head. It was really unlucky. Ocelots, I have so many ocelot heads. It's not even funny. Let me go over here. Um, yeah, I got like six more. I got some more somewhere else, I think. Um, I'm missing a lot of panda bears. I found one panda bear and I couldn't find others. I didn't want to transport him. So I, you know, got his head. And I guess there's like a brown one and a one for every face. They all have different faces. So there's that. I got three parrots. I'm missing two. Mojang, Mojang, come here. Come here, Mojang. Like, what's the deal with not being able to breed parrots? You can tame them, but you can't breed them. Give us parrots. You can make baby parrots. I want a baby parrot so bad. But yeah, that's those. Everyone has a phantom head, pig head. No problem there. Um, I'm missing the piglin. Piglin's like a 3% drop rate, and I don't like the nether. Uh, piglin brutes high drop rate, so that's no problem. Um, the next big one was rabbits. Oh man, rabbits. Uh, there's a lot of different types. There's like three or four different biomes they spawn in. And then you have the name tagged one as well. Let me show a little bit of rabbits. But yeah, so I got all the rabbits. Like I said, I name tagged the toast one and killed a few of those. I'm missing the killer rabbit, but that doesn't naturally spawn. So we're not going to like, worry about it. I got it. I got it. Oh my gosh. I've been here forever. But yeah, I ended up getting all the rabbit heads. It was a bit of work. Basically what I did do was I got the golden from a desert. No problem. I got a couple of the white ones from a snowy region. No problem. Just bred them up and went to town. I then boated a couple of them 500 blocks east to a pine, to a taiga forest. Uh, bred them up. And then they have a, I don't know if you know this, but rabbits have a 5% chance of inheriting their color of their biome. So I just bred like a ton of them up. And then once I got black and brown, I was good to go. Ravagers with Rogue when I did the raids. Cod was easy. Squid was easy. Oh, but sheep. I got all these sheep ones I don't have yet. Some more here. Let me tell you something. Sheep has like a 1% drop rate. And there's like a million colors of them. Oh my gosh. So, Shulker I got when I was doing my end of busting. Silverfish. Oh my gosh. I had this whole plan to get cool footage of a silverfish, but no. So, with the silverfish, I found another stronghold. I went into it, and I'm like, you know what? Before I do the spawner and I get the silverfish head, I want to explore a bit, because I love exploring. So, I wandered around, looted books from the libraries, and a single silverfish popped out and was like, hey, what you doing in my home? And I slaughtered him, and he gave me a head. None of it was recorded. So, big old bummer there. Skeleton heads are hard to get, except for that they're in ancient cities, so they're easy. I don't have a skeleton horse. I don't have a slime. But I got a sniffer head. So, my quest to get all the mob heads, I need a sniffer head. And I got a little sniffer pen here. Look how adorable they are. Um, look away, please. Hey, look. A sniffer head magically appeared in one of my chests. Hunky dory. Anyways, moving on. We got a snow golem head. It's one of my favorites. I don't know why it just looks so derpy. They're easy to get since you can just spawn them in. But let's drop this guy back off. Uh, someone gave me a spider head. Uh, I did a stray's head. I got powder snow and I just set up our skeleton farm with uh, that. And uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It's a 21% drop rate to get the head. Oh, we got two. I wasn't even watching. <laughs> Woo. Nice. Next, we have the Striders, which uh, was a little bit rough getting. The, the problem with the Striders is there's a Strider and a Freezing Strider. And... I, I kept having issues where I was trying to get the freezing one when they're out of lava. 
And I thought at first, well, it was my sword because my sword was doing flame on him. So I went back and used an axe. Same issues. So I, I don't know what or where or how, but it wasn't giving me the right head. Uh, I eventually reached out to Shad and Shad said, well, try bringing them in the overworld and killing them there, putting them in water. So I wanted to try that, but I kind of am just done with the nether. I don't like the nether. So we'll go back another time and get that. Uh, you already saw the tadpole head from before. Trader llamas are easy to get. Tropical fish, turtle, vexes. Oh, the vexes are from the raid with Rogue. So he gave me those. That was sure nice. And then I got a bunch of villager heads. Those are pretty easy to get. Uh, Warden with Rogue. Rogue and Shad set up a Warden killing chamber. So I got head from them pretty easy. Which, uh, Wither Skeleton, some doggies, and then just a couple odds and ends ones. Uh, I still have the regular Wither to get. And the zombie and all the villager zombies. And that's it. That's my head collection so far. I still got a bit to go. I'll keep the updates as I get each one. While I was in the nether, I went ahead and went around looking for fortresses to get the rib template. And I did find one. So let me guys show you that right now. Oh, I got a hit head on the first try. <laughs> the first one. First skeleton I've ever killed. <laughs> okay, this will be chest, what, like 16? I got it! I got it, guys! Woo! After I got the red template, Chad had extended the border by like a couple thousand. And so I'm like, oh, let me go check out Outpost and Dune for those two. I checked a couple Outposts. No trim. But there's a couple temp temples, desert temples. So I went to go check them out, and that's when the worst happened. Okay. <clears throat> okay, bad news. Super bad news. I just blew up. Um, a creeper blew up, and I think I blew up all my stuff. And I, I luckily I slept in the village right over there. I'm rushing back. Hopefully some of my stuff survived. Some of it survived. I don't know. I think I'll die from this fall. Let's uh, dig on down. I didn't bring anything but some wheat, which doesn't help me because it's not bread. I ran over here, and I literally was just like 100 blocks away. I think... I didn't get recorded because I'm an idiot and I wasn't recording. But I fell down here to check the chest, and then a creeper fell on me and exploded, and it blew up me, and then it blew, the TNT blew up all my stuff, and I'm pretty sure... Oh my... Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die from a skeleton. Oh, this is garbage. This is garbage. Okay, this time I'm going to set a spawn. I got this. Let's get some bread. Set the spawn. Okay. I don't know what to do. There's monsters. I'm, what do I do? That creeper's just going to blow up. I don't have any light sources. This is... This is complete garbage. I don't have another chest because I blew freaking up. Huh. Come on. Something, a tool, a gear, anything. Chest plate. Come on. Tools. Where are, why is it just all sand? Why? Don't kill me. I just want my gear back. It's all gone. No! You guys can't see me because it's too dark. <laughs> My elytra. I'm just a sad naked boy. Nothing. So, yeah, I died. It sucked because the way it died is I was digging down in the temple <clears throat> and I fell down. And I was about to break the trash plate. And a creeper goes. Eek! And the creeper turns around. And it instantly explodes on me. And then I died. And then the explosion instantly set off the TNT under the temple. temple and it blew up all my gear. And I lost everything. I had all my tools. All my stuff on me. The only thing that I didn't take with me was my bow. Bippity boppity boo. But I lost everything else. So we're going to spend probably in between this session and the next session. Grabbing and redoing gear but I want to talk about one last thing 
is the tournament. We had the final results results of this week is Nick versus Seth is Seth won a big upset. Go watch their videos and stuff, figure out what happened. If if not, I'll try and upload it if they don't. And then of course, you know, you saw me and Rogue. I lost. Shad and Milo. Uh Shad posted his video and Shad won him. It was a little bit of a tough thing, but Soul Speed won him the day. And the Neon and Fry, we saw that Fry had dominated him. So they're going to go on to the tournaments. We'll try and see videos next week. And round two is officially open. Go get your, go get your fights in. Go see your stuff. Make your bets. And hopefully good luck for all the people in the PvE tournament. But that's all I got for us this week. I'm going to collect more heads still. I'm going to get my gear going and try and get more templates. Yeah, so wish me luck. I'll have to think up to some new stuff on that. And I will see you guys next week. And thanks for watching. Thanks for chilling with me. Take care, guys.